everybody. Um, bear with me. I am a little bit sick, but I thought it would be a good time to uh, do a video to uh, update everybody on my hemifacial spasm um, and show you what's going on with it at this point in time because I feel like it's um, worse when I'm a little bit stressed out and sick like this. I'm tired. Um, so this is probably the most severe you're going to see it. Um, I'm Faith, and if you're here, it's probably because you've looked up hemifacial spasm or HFS and are interested in seeing uh, the effect that it has on people um, like yourself or like me. Um, I have had hemifacial spasm. I was diagnosed in 2012, but it has been, uh, it started in about 2005 or 2006 that I noticed it in my eye, and then it did the thing where it traveled down my face. And here we are now in 2018. Welcome to 2018. Happy New Year. Um, so I thought I would uh, go ahead and put an updated video. One of the, the things that I've done in the past was all my videos have been focused on uh, showing the effect of Botox injections on my hemifacial spasm so that people can see um, what it does to my face and uh, and all, throughout the period of time because you, you get it done and then you wait three months and then you have your, your next injection. Um, so if you look at my past videos, you'll see the effect of how Botox worked on my face uh, to help my spasm. Turns out it was helping a lot. <laughs> I, I always thought it was helping, um, and but it, since I've stopped doing it, I think my last injections were in June, uh, might've been earlier than June, but it was in summertime um, that I had them. I'm preparing to have the um, microvascular decompression surgery this year so hopefully in the spring and as i understand it you should not have botox in your system or it's best to maybe get it out of your system a fair amount of time before the surgery uh, i am just interviewing surgeons at this point in time so um, maybe i shouldn't have stopped it so early but uh, my last injection gave me a black eye and at the place that i go to the they, the way they charge me was getting really annoying so um, i just kind of was taking a break from it anyway um, as you can see the spasm is pretty severe. Um, this is, like I said, one of the worst um, that, it, that it gets. Uh, I, the last couple of nights have been tough when it comes to sleep. Um, and, oh gosh, yesterday I went for acupuncture. I go for acupuncture just on a monthly basis just because um, it does good things for my body, but it does not affect my hemifacial spasm, just FYI. Anyway, I was lying there, and I do it for 20 minutes. I usually look at it as, I call it my grown-up nap. Uh, where I take some time to uh, to rest and relax while I have the needles in, and um, my face would not stop spasming. I, I literally was in there. I'm sure that people outside the room were like, what is happening in there? Because I was lying there moaning, stop. It just wouldn't stop spasming. And it was really bad, and especially the needles that were here and the one that was next to my nose, I was afraid they were going to shake out of my face um, because the spasm was so bad. And finally, uh, it calmed down, and I was able to relax for the last 15 minutes or so of it. Um, that's what I'm dealing with right now is that when I close my eyes, um, my spasm is particularly bad. Um, and uh, just in general, I, I don't know why. It's just been really bad these last few days. So anyway, um, this is what advanced hemifacial spasm looks like in case you're wondering, in case you've stumbled upon this and uh, you're looking into hemifacial spasm, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not so bad. I mean, people don't stare. I'm, I'm in a lucky position. People don't stare and don't judge and don't say anything. Uh, I've never had anybody ask what's going on with your face. Um, I did have someone doing some construction in my house a little bit ago who, uh, well, he kind of he, he kind of rubbed me the wrong way, took me off a little bit, showed up a little early one day when I was not expecting him. And um, he said, I can see that I have such your face twitching. And I said, no, no, that's just what it does. So um, anyway, people are noticing it as well they should. <clears throat> kind of bothers me when people pretend like they can't see it because uh, that's impossible. Um, at this point in time, uh, I, my driving is being affected. I'm, I'm afraid to drive. Uh, I do it when necessary, mostly during the day. I try to keep it to daytime drives, uh, but mostly I, I ask my husband to drive us places. Uh, I'm fortunate that he um, is willing to do that in spite of the fact that I can be kind of a picky um, passenger. But anyway, I do my best. I'm trying to do my best. Uh, if you have any questions, let me know uh, in the comments. I'm always available. Um, I do my best to try to keep up with it. I, I am, uh, sometimes I get a little behind with responding, 
but uh, go ahead and leave a comment or try contacting me on the, um, the YouTube. Uh, if you go to my, my profile, there's a way to, con to contact me that will send me an email as well if you don't want to uh, put a comment on the video itself. Um, another thing that I cannot suggest enough, recommend enough, is a group that I'm a member of on Facebook. If you're in Facebook um, and you uh, think you have HFS or you do have HFS and you're looking for support and help um, and have questions or just want to talk to people about how much it sucks, um, it's a great group that I'm a part of. Uh, I, I've noticed there are a couple of other ones actually that have popped up. There's about 28, 20, 2,800 people in this in this particular group. Of course, we don't all chat at the same time, but it's called Hemifacial Spasm, in parentheses, HFS, close parentheses, Worldwide Support Group. I'll put um, that information in my uh, in the, com the comments, too, on this video so you can see that. Um, but, yeah, again, let me know if you have any questions. There's nothing that I can do uh, to ease up my the effect of my spasms. Sometimes um, breathing and calming, just trying to put myself into a different place uh, mind-wise calming things down will help to, to mellow it out. Um, sometimes I just have to let this, the, I think they call it tonus, the spasm take control to try to then break out of it um, a little bit. Uh, sometimes I notice that I'm, I'm folding my forehead in a certain way and I don't know if that's um, making it happen or not. I, I don't know. When I'm sleeping and, or I'm lying down trying to sleep and it's happening, uh, this, is, this has worked in the past. Um, when I have my eyes shut, if I look to the opposite side of my spasm, it'll eventually calm that side, to, the spasm side down. Um, it's, sometimes it, it works and sometimes it doesn't. Last night it was not. I was up for a couple of hours um, because I just couldn't sleep, which makes me sad. But I think that's because of the cold. Anyway, um, let me know if you have any questions. <laughs> I am here and... Uh, Looking forward to hearing from you guys. Hope everybody's well. And again, Happy New Year. Um, hopefully I'll be back here in the next couple of months with more information about um, my plans for the surgery uh, that I'm hoping to get done in the spring and the surgeons that I'm, that I'm meeting with and, and going to pick uh, soon so I can get that surgery scheduled. All right. Take it easy. Talk to you later.